Welcome. This is Find Out Movie Recap. Before watching, watch out for spoilers. Almost everyone, except for his assistant, leaves, and he begins to butcher, one mutant after another, until people get to a safe zone. Before joining the others, Shokichi looks into the compartment where his beloved's corpse lies. He promises to come back to her and pick her up. And then he sees thin threads of a cobweb stretching from her head, somewhere to the side. The rover with the members of the expedition left the ship, and at the last moment, Shokichi managed to jump on it to get away from the mutant cockroaches, one of the team, a maniac who fell for the Russian girl Maria, takes the activator, and turns into his kind of beetle, and shoots jet stream, catching on the roof of the rover. He develops tremendous speed, and takes people away from the ship. The captain sees this, and orders the assistant who remained with him to close down all the windows and doors. When there are many cockroaches in the ship, then he orders to pump out all the air from the interior. The mutant cockroaches stop attacking him, and begin to choke, the surviving team members rush across the endless Martian desert, but then they notice a giant wave rising to meet them. They think that this is a tsunami, but it turns out these are hordes of mutant cockroaches, they want to crush them. The team decides to break through the wave, and they succeed. Following, comes the second wave of cockroaches, more impressive and numerous. To break through it, you need serious protection, Maria and her friend inject their activators, and turn into a beetle of such creatures, with an incredibly durable shell. They stand on the body of the rover to protect its engine, giving jet thrust. Transport also breaks through the second wave, but with great difficulty. Having broken through the thick of cockroaches, the rover does not stand it and turns over. The members of the team are left inside, unconscious, and the rover enters the autopilot mode. People who flew off the roof are seriously injured, and the cockroaches arrive in time to finish them off. On the ship where the captain turned off the air supply, the traders Ichiro Hiruma were left to help the captain, and Asuka Mariki. They received their own assignments, to find an egg of mutant cockroaches, and deliver it to Earth, to study the evolution of these creatures. They return the oxygen supply, kill the captain, and are about to take off towards the house. Meanwhile, Shokichi Komachi and the rest of the survivors arrive at the landing site of the first shuttle, where they find out that their predecessors sent a capsule with an unknown filling to the ground. They are being watched by a drone driven by Ko Honda. Behind the ship from the sandstorm, a view of the pyramids built by cockroaches opens up, then Ko Honda reveals himself, tells the team why they were actually sent to Mars. Also, Ko Honda says that the first expedition sent the head of a cockroach to the ground. Only thanks to this, they were able to combine the DNA of humans and insects. The subjects themselves were planned to be abandoned on Mars at the end of the experiment. Ichiro Hiruma and Asuka Mariki take off on the ship on which their expedition arrived, removing the blockages, but the cockroaches of Mars do not want to let them go so easily. From the eggs carried by the traitor's hatch, more perfect, mutant Gemini. They kill Mariki and Hiruma, but the latter only goes into hibernation, having managed to inject himself with the activator. Cockroaches outside the ship, at the command of more advanced and newly hatched brethren, spread their wings and take off, and make the ship fall back to the surface of the planet. The modified Gemini, together with an army of cockroaches, are advancing on Shokichi Komachi and the others, the same has already managed to test their own mutations, injecting activators, they deal with a squad of cockroaches, and along the way find out that they were able not only to build pyramids but also learned how to use weapons. When the army arrives, led by the twins, the surviving humans decide to fight. A fierce battle ensues, in which they kill everyone except Komachi and Jim Mudo, the same street fighter, in order to survive they inject a second dose of the activator, so they become stronger and faster. But the Gemini mutants are not inferior to them in strength and dexterity, they begin to gain the upper hand, so Mudo decides to inject the activator again, he more and more turns into an insect, and kills more and more hordes of cockroaches, but cannot defeat the Gemini. Mudo has to inject several more doses of the activator in order to kill at least one of the Gemini, his strength is running out, as well as the strength of Komachi. Hordes of cockroaches stand against them, 
ready to kill. But then something beautiful appears in the sky. Luminous moth, or butterfly, looks more like an angel. She seems to be woven from millions of cobwebs shining in the light of the sun, cockroaches, and people freeze in admiration. Komachi recognizes Nanao butterflies, she wrapped herself in a cocoon of cobwebs on the ship. And when the time came, she transformed into a butterfly, but at the same time, she ceased to be herself. With each flap of Nanao's wings, tiny pollen falls to the ground, enveloping everything around, including an army of cockroaches. Komachi realizes that Nanao wants to save them by blowing herself up in the pollen. He tries to stop her, but the surviving twin shoots the butterfly, triggering an explosive reaction. Mudo saves the Komachi from the explosion but dies himself. Komachi, having turned into a man, sees the surviving twin of the cockroach, with several blows, he dumps him to the ground but leaves him alive. Returning to the ship on which the second expedition arrived, the Komachi find the traitor Ichiro there, who explains to him that he only wanted to save his family from hunger and death. They decide to fly to the ground together, and to avenge the perfect cavalry, they decide to fly to the ground together and avenge Ko Honda, for what he did on Mars. They see a flying escape pod. Cockroaches are also preparing to take off to knock her down, however, the surviving twin who spared the Komachi stops them, he decides to give people a chance. Komachi, when they leave, farther into space, vows to return to Mars, because there is left, that which was once Nanao. On Earth, everyone finds out what the Kohanda Corporation has done, among his entourage is a government spy, Saka Kibara, and when Kohanda decides to betray Japan and flee to another country with his designs, Saka Kibara tries to kill him. Nothing comes out. Kohanda poisons the girl and flees in an unknown direction. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos of this kind. See you on the internet. Bye.